Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Let's Get Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakuru and in this video I'm going to teach you how you can use EPS file. There are many ways by which you can use EPS file and like I explained in, the, in, my previous, in my previous video on how you can actually download EPS file. You can use EPS file for Illustrator, you can use EPS file on Corel Draw, you can use EPS file in Photoshop. All you have to do is to watch this video and see how I'm going to use the EPS file. So the first thing you have to do is to download the EPS file. If you don't know how to download the EPS file, please watch the video on my channel. I have shared a video on how you can download EPS file from Fitbit or from Fitbit.com for free. So now, after you have downloaded the file, so you can bring it to your desktop. You can see it right here. And, uh, So, so this is the file that uh, I just downloaded as EPS file. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to right click on the zip folder. So when you right click on the zip folder, so you have to you have to choose a uh, extract here. Alright, so having extract the file, so you're going to have it in this way. So the first one here is the EPS file, followed by JPEG file, then followed by the original file. The license is free premium uh, license. So you can delete the license free and premium. Sorry. You can delete them. You don't need it. So the real file you need is the EPS file. So you can as well delete the JPEG file. So the file you need here is the EPS file. So how do you use the EPS file? So we're going to start from using it in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll bring out my Illustrator here. Now I'll have to go to File from the Home tab here. Then you look for Open. Now you have to look for where you save the EPS file. So I'm going to scroll down and look for my EPS file. Okay, so here we go. EPS file. So we're going to select the first one here. So having selected, uh, we're going to click on open. Now click on yes. Wow. So you can see this is uh, the file we actually download on the freepeak.com. So if you don't know how to download this kind of file, please check the video on my YouTube channel. I have made a video on that. So now, when you open the EPS file on your Illustrator, you can select the file now. So if I click on this, you can come to the top here and change the color. You can see. So now, uh, if you want to change this color here also, select the, the EPS vector shape. Go to the color palette and uh, change the color. You want to change this one here. So another method by which you can change color is that you can come to the foreground color here, double click on it, and uh, change the color, click on OK. So this is how you use EPS file in your Illustrator after you have actually downloaded it successfully from Prefix.com. So let's see how we use EPS file in Corel Draw. So I'm going to bring out my Corel Draw file now. So I'll have to Follow the same procedure. Have to go to file, click on open. So if you click on open, so have to look for the EPS file. So here we go. Then we're going to select this. Now click on open. So, 
click on OK. So you can see it here has been opened. So you can select the car. Let's say we select that car, change the color. Let's see. Now let's say I want to change this home icon and select it and uh, change the color. So I want to change the color of this paint. Change the color. Right, so this is how you use EPS5 in your color of rock. So let's see how we use EPS5 in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to bring out my Photoshop file. Right? Then I'll go to File, Open. Then we'll look for my EPS file. APS file. I'm just going to select this. Click on open. Then click on OK. So Photoshop is going to compare the file to raster file. Right? But there is a way by which we can still use it and change the color. We want to change the color. So let's see. So guys, you can see now that Photoshop has converted it into raster, so that is, uh, there is no uh, layers on this uh, file. So what we are going to do here to make use of this or to change the color is that we have to we can come to the tools bar here and uh, select this tools. 